What's going on guys, Tybreak here, back with another Warframe video, and today we're going to be going through a little bit of how to play the Lunaro uh, multiplayer game that they just came out for consoles. So, I've only just gone in it the other day to show you what it looks like, I haven't played it at all, or anything, so we're going to go ahead and go into the practice room, learn some of the rules, learn how to play it, and yeah, and then we can play it. Maybe we can play it in this video. If we don't have any time, we're going to play it in the in the next video, uh, just to save a little bit of time. But for right now, let's just learn how to play it, because it seems pretty interesting to me. Lunarum, ancient sport of the lost Orican era. Here, on this abandoned field, Tenno will come together in the spirit of honor and teamwork to resurrect this forgotten tradition. Let me explain how it works. Lunaro is a team game, played on a field divided into two halves, sun and moon. The objective is simple. Get the ball called a Lunaro through the opponent's goal at the opposite end of the arena. The team with the most points by the end of the match wins the game. All right, so here we are. Uh, you can hear that ball bouncing, which is kind of weird. And anytime the ball is off camera, you can see it on the little arrow. So I'm noticing that. Um, it looks like I have that little kind of throwing thing. Looks like a high lie um, thrower. I don't know what it's called, but from high lie, if you've ever seen that, it looks just like that. There's the ball right there, and it looks like on my shoulder, um, I have a little little dangly thing. So I guess I'm on the sun team. So let's go ahead and. Uh, let's go right behind us to scoring. Getting the Lunaro through the opponent's goal is worth one point. If the goal is scored from outside the defender's zone, an additional point is given. If the Lunaro is unstable during the goal, an extra point is also awarded. Okay, so it looks like when I was holding it, it like charges up and I got damaged or I lose the ball like that. So I think that's what it must mean when it's unstable. So I guess I can throw it. There we go. So you just throw it into there and you score. Let's see if I can... Sun now leads. Oh, so I guess I have to clear the zone, so I have to go out here? Okay, so I have to go across the line every single time that we want to score. Let's try and see if I can do it while it's unstable. I guess I don't know well it said it when it's unstable you can um, do something else so um, let's go ahead and let's go to passing let's see what that is good passing is crucial to winning Lunaro when aiming near a teammate you will see a Chevron appear over them tapping fire with the Chevron up will automatically pass to that play keep in mind it is possible to intercept a pass but a past Lunaro moves faster and more accurately to a receiver than a standard launch. Alright, so we can pass to other players. There aren't any players here, so I guess we can't test that. Um, I don't know what this is. Arcata. To get possession of the Lunaro, you simply touch it. It will pull into your arm-mounted launcher, called your Arcata. Launch the Lunaro by tapping the fire button. Holding the fire button for the duration of the throw will launch it further. To curve your shot, try launching the Lunaro from a slide. Your Arcata is also equipped with a range-limited attractor. Hold the aim button to attract the Lunaro when it is near. Catching, interceptions, and guarding your team's goal rely on this. Alright, so it looks like you just pick it up and then you can actually, it's hit, you can hold it. I don't know how to do that. Um, it seems like the controls um, might be a little bit different. Let me see. I wonder if there's a different set of controls. Because see right now my fire, wep fire weapon is R1 and... Now, when I'm doing it in Lunaro, it is R2, but I guess there is a Lunaro um, right here. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and 
do this as where's fire what throw catch i'm going to i'm going to switch this around yeah we'll come right back all right so i fixed it now i think that's why i was having a little bit of trouble but it looks like, I guess you can hold it a little bit. Let's see, I held it the, the whole way. Yeah. I think if you hold it down, it just charges just a little bit. Yeah. Um, let's go. Let's see, actually. Okay, so you also get points from doing it from far away. Um, I also did a thing the other time if you hit it. Oh, no, not that. If I, I hit it and it turned purple and it, like, went really far. Nope, I can't do it. Why can't I do it? Okay. Maybe you have to wait till it's not your color anymore. I don't know. Yeah. But that actually launches it pretty far. And then, because when you have it, you can't do um, a billet jump. When you, know, when you slide and then jump. You can't do that. So, I'm guessing that's just a little bit, you know, makes it a little bit easier. But And then... So if you hold the aim button, it's supposed to attract the ball. How close do you have to be? You have to be decently close to get that. I want to try and... Nope. I'm trying to get that one that he said you get more points, but... Oh well. Uh, clearing the zone. Let's try and see what that is. Team's goal has a semicircle area on the field around it called the zone. After scoring, the attacking team must clear the defender's zone. Oh, okay. Attackers within the zone will have their arcadas disabled until they clear out. Play resumes with the Lunaro dropping from the defender's zone. Only the beginning and half-time Lunaro drops occur at center field. Okay, so this area right here in this semicircle is what he, what um, he's talking about. Okay. Sun with the gold. And so let's see what else. So there are carrying rules. Let's check that out a bit. The Lunaro contains an ancient and unstable energy. This creates a few carrying rules for the Lunaro. First, you cannot carry the Lunaro for more than five seconds, or it will explode. Second, you cannot bullet jump with the Lunaro. Doing so drops the Lunaro immediately. These rules encourage teamwork, passing, and rebounds to attain victory. Okay. So yeah, you can't carry it for more than five seconds. I figured that out when I was carrying it, and it exploded, but... Um, it also seems that in order to change which character you're using, you need to go and do your conclave. I didn't... I, I thought it was just the one that I was using right then, but yeah. You have to go into your conclave and change it, which is kind of weird. I wish they would set your own Lunaro thing, because I would want a different... I would want a fast Warframe for Lunaro, but I would want something like Rhino... Um, for when I'm actually just fighting people, so I don't know. Yeah, that that mechanic is a little bit wonky, like trying to hit it. Oh, I guess if you hit it against someone, um, will hurt them. But it's a little wonky. Like I feel like the hitbox should be a little bit better. See, like right there, I went to hit it, but I ended up just like picking it up. I think um, it really needs to be worked on. I think. It would be a little bit better if um, the only way to pick it up was to, you know, absorb it or pull the ball in with the aim button. And then you can hit it like that so that, you know, you can you can hit it when you want to and you don't accidentally end up picking it up. But I think that's a pretty cool mechanic. So I think we have a couple of things. Um, I did scoring already. Oh, so we have one lap checking. Use your melee attack to check other players. Checking the ball carrier will jar the Lunaro loose. Repeated checking of a player will knock them down for a short time. The Lunaro itself can also be struck, making it dangerous and unstable for a few seconds. Being hit by an unstable Lunaro will knock you down. Now, 
practice in this empty arena. Familiarize yourself with the Arcada's launching and attracting moves. Practice scoring, rebounding, and checking. Prepare yourself, Tenno, for the glory of the Lunaro. So I think the unstable one must be the purple one. So I was just trying to do that and get that in there. It's it that would be pretty hard. I, I found out also if you go to check it. Um right here. I didn't go in. If you go to check it, um it'll also do that instead of and you don't have to hit it. So that's a little bit easier to do. Damn it. See if I can throw it in the air. I wanna I wanna check it into there. See if I get any extra points. Damn, it's it's pretty hard to aim doing that. Oh well. I mean that's pretty much the basics of it. I think it's I think it's a pretty cool game. Um I, I would say it, it it does need a little bit of work. Um I think that there should be um another another what's it called? I guess Warframe like thing. I don't know what that's called. Uh, you can have like your normal Warframe and then you can have your Warframe for the Conclave. I really think that um, you should be able to have one specifically for Lunaro. Oh, your aim glide is super short too. I just noticed that. Look. Let's see. I'm already starting to fall. Wow. Okay. But um, yeah. Oh, that was so close. If I can, oh okay. Wow. So yeah, it kind of reminds me of a little bit of Rocket League. It's, oh, I got it. Two points. So yeah, that's the unstable. So the unstable one is the purple one. Can't believe I got it. That was pretty cool. So it does seem a little bit like a uh, Rocket League if you've ever seen that that game. Um, but it has Warframe. So I think I think it's really cool that they came up with a. You know a sports game for um, the Warframe so it and it does it does it is pretty cool you know and I feel like that there are gonna be people who are playing it just because it's such it's such a different thing it's not like a fighting thing anymore it's more of a oh now we can you know have a have a sport which is kind of cool unlocks a little bit of lore about the place but you know I, I, I think I think the mechanics are good enough and it's not too overpowered like you can't use the bullet jumps anymore um, which would make it pretty overpowered because it would be hard to catch them. I wonder if the sprint speed works because that's the one reason why I would like uh, a separate area to, you know, customize l your Lunaro so you wouldn't have to change it for the Conclave and stuff. You can just have it, you know, separate and you don't have to go back and forth and try and do that. Just because I would want a little bit more sprint speed in my Warframe and not as much, you know, power and stuff like that. So I wouldn't use Rhino, I would use something like Volt because bolts pretty fast so I don't know that's just me but um, yeah I, I, I think I'm gonna really enjoy this and hopefully you guys are too um, like I said once I get my streaming all set up uh, I'm gonna try and um, get get a stream for just Lunaro and hopefully you guys can join me and play um, I would say I'll go and tr follow my Twitter because I think you'll probably get a notification or you can just check it um, when I post videos, but also I'll put on there where I'm gonna be streaming so that you guys can just jump on and stream. Um, so you guys can jump on and play with me and also you can watch the stream as well. So um, yeah, I think I think that should be good. So yeah, just go follow my Twitter. I'm gonna try and do a stream of this just because it's a pretty fun game and I, I could see it really being pretty challenging, but it could also you know be pretty leveling for people, you know? It doesn't matter how long you've played it, you know, if you if you know the controls, you should be good enough to play it. So, yep, that's going to do it for this video, this kind of overview video of Lunaro. I'm going to be playing it in another video, trying to get um a good match, so uh, keep an eye out for that. But that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.